Hey gorgeous ones, Indiana here. <laughs> I've been having a beautiful weekend with my family. I had to get away. I needed to be by the ocean. I've just been for a beach walk, about to go to breakfast. And I did a video on my group, my free group, High End Empire, just talking about people that are really going through a lot of grief and healing right now. So if you want to see that video, go to my group, join my group, if you're not already there, about ascension and releasing grief and why it's so important um, in order for you to really ascend. It's actually a vital part of the process of ascension. But I just was also speaking to somebody else, another client of mine today, and to do with her relationship with her man. And I was thinking how that also relates to business as well. So at the end of the day, you never want to have that energy of trying to get something, get someone to be a client, get your man to treat you right, get someone to show you respect, get money. <laughs> it's like, the way that I do things in my life, um, this is what works for me, is really it's about a transference of where your energetic vibration is. It's just really to, to give, to give and to receive and to really allow. So when you become the embodiment of the frequency of that which you want to receive, there's none of this getting force, pulling energy. It's more embodying and being the fullest expression of you, the fullest expression of that which you desire, and the relationships that you have will either come up to meet you through the reclamation and the resurrection of your truest desire of, the, of your own self-love. So what do you desire? And then you embody that energy as you release grief rage, self-loathing and come back to the embodiment of that which you want to receive. And everything that is not in alignment, I can tell you this for sure, because I go through it all the time because that's where I'm at. I know exactly what I desire. I allow myself and give myself permission to, to desire it and receive it. I know what it is. I know what I want in my marriage. I know what I want in my business. I'm very clear about that. And then anything that isn't in alignment will go, including my own stuff, including anything that I personally need to release, whether it's self-hatred, lack of self-honoring, whatever. So I've been on this journey for many years, right? And you get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and you become that embodiment. Really what it is, is love, right? And I was just saying on my group before, the moment I gave myself permission to be the fullest expression of me, no longer hiding, no longer waiting for someone to give me that permission, no longer worrying about what someone's going to think about me, whether they're going to like me, whether they're going to get it. That is not my concern. My concern is to be the fullest expression of me, the true me, the true unbridled, passionate, full on me. I will not crucify my energetic presence to please anybody. And if they don't appreciate it or like it, or perhaps it turns them right off, that's fine. That doesn't, I say love, it doesn't even, I don't even, it doesn't even come into my concern. It's not my concern. And I even almost can find it a little bit funny. I don't take it as some sort of rejection because the only person that can really reject me and abandon me is me. Do you get what I'm saying? I will not, I refuse, I did it for years, to abandon myself and my truth and my power and my heart. So the moment I gave myself that permission to be the fullest expression and, and own my divinity and own my mess and own whatever imperfection I have, I'm so, I was just so over judging myself. We're conditioned to do that. We're conditioned to berate ourselves, to berate ourselves, right? because that's how society's kind of set it up. And so I decided, well, that wasn't working anymore. I remember the day I used to have a very chronic eating disorder and I sat on the beach and I was like, you know, this is just, this is just like a joke. This is like effed up. So I grabbed my flabby thighs and I said, okay, instead of hating you, so doing my prayers, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna see what happens here because it can't get any worse than this. 
and that's how I've lived my life ever ever since it's always an initiation there's always different layers of love and honoring right now I'm going through a massive thing of honoring my work you know I'm a priestess I shapeshift energy <laughs> And I'm an also a really full-on business coach and strategist, branding expert, copywriting whiz. And I'm like, holy moly, like, wow, Ingrid. And I give out a lot. So there's this, this deep level of not from ego, but a deeper level of love and honoring of my work, right? So I invite you all in to go into a sacred divine initiation and to give yourself that permission to truly be that expression of you because you are incredible, right? Let's, let's screw the system and let's create our own system because the system that's been set up for us doesn't work. It doesn't work. It crucifies. So it's like, okay, well, I just won't buy into that system any longer, right? And then we have healing because when we're in chaos, we're in fight and flight and everything goes haywire. Digestion shuts down, assimilation of nutrients shuts down, body starts to store, immunity gets screwed up. Everything within your physicality is literally like kind of dying. So no wonder we find it hard then to go out and have these businesses. We're in energetic, complete constriction. I'm just trying to find where my hotel is. So guys, I've got to go. I've got to find my family. Yeah, screw the system. Create our own system. One that honors the femme. One that honors you. One that starts to nourish you. Be you. Do you think you can make the transformation with the same people? Um... That's a good question. Uh, some will need to be released, but at the end of the day, most of the work is really, you don't need those people to give you anything. You don't need them to give you anything. Sometimes some relationships as you rise up, if they keep treating you in a way that might not be loving or something like that, but often a lot of those relationships will mutate and shape shift as you rise up, not needing anything. Hey love, hey Nicola, from them, right? So myself honoring, it's an energetic relationship with my own self and my own divinity. Um, there has been situations where I've had to call out for people to potentially change and shift even in my own marriage. And then I release um, any idea of what they may do. I can't control that. So you can, you can absolutely do this in your current, with current relationships. Um, I have a lot of people from my past that are still in my life, some of them that relationships that have been toxic, um, but I relate to them differently because I'm not needing anything. I'm not trying to get them to do or be something that they cannot be, okay? Because they say, you know, that's energetically unfair. They're incapable of giving you anything, probably that you really truly desire, and you can choose to just love them. Um, to just love, to just love, to just love them. Does that make sense? And then to just trust that if relationships are released, that you just send them love and that it's for your highest good and their highest good. You don't have to control it, but you do have to try, stay true to yourself and your heart and to be loving in your own self. And then everything will shift around that. And usually if you really trust that and you really honor, people will come to the party. Some won't, <laughs> but a lot will. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love. Blessings.